everyone welcome to today's tutorial so we're going to start looking at tutorial sheet 2 and this is question 1 so if you still have any questions from tutorial sheet 1 feel free to contact me to ask me um, on my whatsapp line which is just on the screen here so and uh, please make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on the button that says subscribe and also click on the notification button so that whatever video that I'm going to be posting, you'll be able to see it and uh, watch and enjoy and even um, be helped by that uh, information in the video. Right, so you can contact me on any of these lines on the screen in case you need any help in math or physics. All right, so let us uh, quickly begin to solve the, the questions. So we have these questions on the screen. The first question is rather... This is question one from story sheet two, which says simplify the following without using a calculator. Answers may involve such. So this one is straightforward. The first thing that I'll start um, with is introducing you to what are called SADs. So SADs are simply just um, SADs are simply just um, um, uh, functions, rather numbers that are in this format that contain a root. Yeah, so some books they call it a root and then some books they say this is a sad. Alright, so we can have x there, then we can have a constant also there. Then you also have y is equal to that, which makes it an equation. So, right, so let us quickly uh, begin to solve the questions. And then when you have the square root of x, this one is just the same as x raised to the power half. If you have the cube root of um, x, this one is just the same as x to the power 1 over 3. The fifth root of x, this one is the same as uh, x to the power 1 over 5. Then the other thing that you need to understand is that whenever you are dealing with indices, if for instance you are multiplying x to the power a and uh, you are multiplying this with... Uh, x to the power b what you just need is to add the powers when you are multiplying indices with the same base you add the powers so you are going to have a plus b this side so these are some of the rules that we're going to be using so if you have for instance the square root of x uh, times the square root of x this is just the same as x to the power 1 over 2 times x to the power 1 over 2 so when you're multiplying two indices with the same base what do you do with the powers you are going to add the powers so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 you simply just get x to the power 1 because we know that 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 this will give us uh, the denominator is 2 2 into 2 1 1 times 1 is 1 say plus uh, another one there so when you add 1 plus 1 you get 2 over 2 there which gives you just a 1 so x to the power 1 the answer is x so this uh, pushes us now to solving the first question there so when you have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 this one is just the same as uh, so if you want you can solve it in this way we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 we're solving part a so this one is just the same if you want you can solve this as the square root of you multiply whatever that is under the root there so you have three times three and then you have the square root of nine which gives you the answer to be three or if you want to solve this uh, using another way of solving it using indices you can say the square root of three is just equivalent to three to the power one over two so this one is just the same as three to the power one over two times 3 to the power 1 over 2 that is this question there so when you have the same base there you add the powers you're going to have half plus half on top hence you're going to have 3 to the power 1 which gives you just 3 as the final answer so that is exactly how you solve so this one now will enable us to also conclude that the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just the same as 10 times 10 there which gives us the square root of 100 so the square root of 100 is simply just um, 10 same applies to this one the square root of 16 times 16 this one will also just uh, give us uh, so 16 times 16 under the root there and then you get the root of 256 so the root of 256 will simply just give us uh, 16 as the answer so the next one is this one 
So 16, uh, the root of 8 times the root of 2 is just the same as multiplying what is under the root there. So this one will just give us the square root of 2 times 8, that is 16. So this one will give us 4 as the answer. This one, the square root of 32 times 2 is just the same as 32 times 2 there, which gives us the square root of 64. So the square root of 64 is simply just 8. So we'll move on to this one. 3 times 12, that is the same as 36 there. The square root of 36, the answer is 6. Yeah, so I'm, I'm being a bit fast because it's very simple. So I'll be taking time where a question seems to be a bit complicated. So 5 root uh, 3 times 3 is not equal to the fifth root of um, 3. So when I say the fifth root of 3, this one is not equal to 5 root uh, 3. So look at exactly where the 5 is. If it's there, then it's, it means the fifth root. This one, so when you look at this part, the first part here means 3 to the power 1 over 5. And then this one is not equal to this one because this one means 5 times uh, 3 to the power half. This is what this means. So these two are not the same. So when we multiply that, we're just going to multiply what is under the side. So we're going to have 5 uh, times 3 times 3 there, which is just 5 times the root of 9. This one will just give us 5 times 3, which is just 15. So the answer there is 15. When you move to the to this other one, we're going to multiply what is outside and then we'll also multiply the numbers that are under the root. So we have 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Then the square root of 5 times 5, that is 25. So we have 6 root 25. So root 25 is simply just um, 5. So 5 times uh, 6, that is 30. So that is how you solve such questions. Let us also move on to this one. So this one is also 3 times 4, the answer is 12. Then the square root of 6 times 6, that is 36. So you have 12 times, the square root of 36 is 6. So when you multiply um, 12 times 6, the answer is 72. Okay. So even this one, it's also straightforward. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. 20 times 5, the answer is 100. So this one is just the same as 6 times the square root of 100 is 10. So you have 6 as your answer. This one, this one, when we have the square root of any number raised to the power 2, this, uh, this one, remember I said x, uh, the square root of any number is just the same as x to the power half. So if we, we raise this to the power 2, it's just the same as multiplying half times 2 there, which gives us 1. So this one is just 1. So x to the power 1 is x. So same applies to this part here. We'll do the same. So we are going to distribute the power there. So we're going to have 2 to the power 2 times the root of 7 uh, to the power 2. So 2 to the power 2, the answer is 4. And then uh, the root of 7 to the power 2 is just the same as um, this square and that to cancel. And hence we just remain with 7. Remember what I said, the square root of 7 squared is just the same as 7 raised to the power half to the times 2. This times that will give you 1. So half times 2 will give you 1. So you just remain with 7. That's why we've just written 7 there. 4 times 7, the answer is 28. So same applies to this part. You do the same. So 3 to the power 2 times uh, the root of 3 to the power 2. So this one is just the same as 9 times 3, which gives us 27. Okay. So we have this one here. So this one means the cube root of 5 times the cube root of 5 times the cube root of 5. So this one is just the same as saying the cube root of 5 how many cube roots of 5 do we have 1 2 3 so this one has been raised to the power 3 so this one is it can also be written as 5 to the power 1 over 3 and then times i mean raised to the power 3 there which gives us 5 to the power 1 how 1 over 3 times 3 is just 1 so the answer is 5 let's move on to this one 
So this one we're going to raise uh, 2 to the power 4. We're distributing the power. Then we also have the fourth root of 3 to the power 4. So this one can also be written as 2 to the power 4. That gives us 16. And then open brackets. We have the fourth root of 3. So that's the same as 3 over 3 to the power 1 over 4. Then to the power 4. When you multiply 1 over 4 times 4, you get 1. So you, this, this one can also be written as 16 times 3, which is just 48. We move on to this one. So this one can also be written as 2 to the power 6. Then we have uh, the cube root of 2 to the power 6. So the cube root of 2 to the power 6, first, let's deal with this one here. 2 to the power 6, the answer is um, 2 to the power 6. The answer will simply just give you uh, 64. Because 2 to the power 5 gives you 32. So 2 to the, two to the power 6 is 64. And then open brackets. Uh, uh, the square root, to, I mean the cube root of 2 can also be written as 2 to the power 1 over 3. Then we have 6 outside there. So we have 64. 6 times 1 over 3. Uh, the answer, we have 1 over 3 times 6. So this one will give us 6 over 3, which is just 2. So uh, here we can just write 2 to the power 2. So 2 to the, pa two to the power 2 is simply just um, 4. So 4 times 64, you get 256. So the answer is just 256 on this one. Let's, do, let's quickly do the last one. So the last one is uh, this, the, the fourth root of 125 and times the fourth root of 5. So what this means, uh, we have the fourth root of 125. This one can also be written as, uh, okay, fourth root of 125 times the fourth root of that. So we can just multiply what is under the fourth root there. So we have 125 times 5. So when you multiply 125 times uh, 5, the answer you get will just be 625. So this one is just the same as the fourth root of 625. And then, um, and then, and then what happens here is that to find the fourth root of this, uh, we can say, okay, this one can also be written as uh, 625 to the power 1 over 4. But 625 can also be written as uh, 625 can also be written as uh, 5 to the power 4. So this one is supposed to be 4. So this one can be written as 5 to the power 4. 5 to the power 4. Then we have 1 over 4 outside. So when you multiply 4 and 1 over 4, you get 1. So this is just the same as 5 to the power 1. The answer is simply just 5. Alright, so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Let's meet in the next tutorial that I'm going to be sending very soon. Yeah, so make sure that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the button that says subscribe so that you shouldn't be missing any videos that I'm going to be posting. See you in the next tutorial video. My name is Hamted. Shalom, shalom.